This program is rated PG. The following program deals with mature subject matter and contains scenes with sexuality. Viewer discretion is advised. We beat that professional private eye at his own game. Now, you are the one who lied and said the stalker moved to South America, Teresa. And thanks to my utterly convincing story, Ethan took Frank Lomax off the case. I don't understand you. When you first hired me, you told me to do whatever it took, whatever it took, to catch your stalker. But that wasn't the, when the girl was in harmony. Now she's out of the country. There's no proof. All I care about is that she stopped bothering me. That's proof. I have never left a case unsolved. You're just gonna have to let this one go, Frank. Just let me, just let me question Teresa one last time. Private. No. She works in your house. She's your mother's personal secretary. Ethan, if she is in league with your stalker, then that leaves you in a very dangerous situation. It's just the opposite. It occurred to me that the stalker disappeared right after Teresa started working here. Teresa's brought me good luck. I really must have been born under a lucky start, Whitney. You're not going to be so lucky if Frank sees you without your disguise. He could recognize you from that sketch you had of the stalker. Don't worry, Whitney. There's no way Frank will ever find out I'm the girl Ethan thinks was stalking him. It's not about the money. When Frank Lomax starts a job, he sees it through to the end. Tracking down Ethan Stalker, whether he wants me to or not. I'm convinced that Teresa and Whitney lied to me. Time to get on their trail. You're lying, Jessica. This is just another one of your sick, juvenile jokes. I wouldn't joke about something this important. Charity's mom is our mom's twin sister, which makes Charity our first cousin. They're the family mom's been searching for all these years. They're talking on the phone right now. No! Mom's never looked so happy. Her 20-year search is finally over. You were right, Simone. Okay. God, of all the cousins I could have wound up with, it has to be the one girl Miguel can't take his eyes off of? Charity? Why me? You told me I could believe in miracles, Miguel, and you were right. You're my hero. I can't take all the credit, Charity. I mean, it was Kay's dad that found your unlisted number in Castleton. And it's like my mom says, I guess. You know, if something's meant to be, it'll be. This was meant to be, Charity. All those times you told me to keep the faith, Sam. Now that's my twin sister's name, Faith. <laughs> I guess I married a pretty smart guy. Oh, I've been telling you that for years, Grace. <laughs> oh, you're shivering. I just got a chill down my spine. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> you know, that little girl warned me that something would happen tonight, something that would change my life forever. It did. You found your twin sister. Why did she tell me I would need so much courage, that I would have to have more strength than I've ever had? Honey, there was no little girl. Mom, you're tired. You, it was an emotional day. <sighs> I saw her, Sam. I know I'm not going to sleep at all tonight. I, you know, tomorrow just seems so far away. Wish I could see my sister Faith. Come on. Oh, where are you going? You want to see your sister tonight? You will. Uh, wait. Hey, you. That smell. Uh, I could tell that I have to go down the basement to make a power stronger. Jimmy's confused. To be scared. Oof. I thought Fluffy's litter box smelled bad, but this sulfur's the worst. I... Uh, no offense, Master. It is I, Tabitha, your most humble servant of evil. I need your assistance. I have not been able to destroy Faith and her daughter Charity on my own. Grace Bennett's revolting me. 
My strong love has kept me from completing my task. Oh, Master, I beseech you, help your minion, Tabitha, to keep the sisters from meeting. If they get back together, it'll be the end of us all. Of the one who could sing so sweet, and I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew could take me high as breathe in, breathe out. You keep me alive. You are the fire burning inside of me. You are my passion for life. Do you know? this means, Whitney? With Frank not around tailing me, I don't have to wear that disguise anymore. No more wig, no more hair in a bun, no more clunky burgundy shoes. Well, what about when you're working for Ivy Crane as her personal secretary? Well, of course I have to wear my disguise then, but when I'm not working at the Crane Mansion, I can walk around Harmony as my real self. You are gonna get your real self tossed in jail if you keep acting this cocky. Oh, forget it, Whitney. You ace the interrogation. Frank isn't looking for me anymore. I'm gonna find those two girls and get to the truth about this stalker if it's the last thing I do. Well, what if Ethan sees you without your disguise? He won't. Ethan never comes downtown. Okay, say Frank did move on to another case. He could still spot you. So? So, he will still turn you into Ethan. You're pushing it. I don't think this is about me at all, Whitney. You've got Frank Lomax on the brain. I do not. I think you want him to nab you so he can put his big, strong arms around you. You're nuts. A minute, Winnie, you thought about what it would feel like. I got those looks between you two. Look, stop it, okay? That man is never gonna have his arms around me. You never know. If he weren't a detective, he'd be pretty hot. Look, I don't even want to talk about this, okay? Besides, even if Frank and I even came close to connecting, he would find out that I lied and that my best friend is the stalker he's been looking for. Not if you didn't tell him. Now, you know I'm not as good a liar as you are. Thanks. You know what I mean. And with the Cranes controlling this town, I mean, can you imagine what would happen to us? Even worse, our families. I don't want to deal with this now. Let's think about it tomorrow. Fine. You know, I'm still hungry. It's pizza night at the book cafe. You want to just grab some? Yeah. I've got to pick up some papers at the youth center for Louise. But I'll meet you there. Okay. Order me a slice and soda, okay? Ethan Crane is convinced that the stalkers moved to South America. But I bet my good name that she's still right here in Harmony. And sooner or later, Whitney and Teresa are going to lead me right to her. First things first. I am starving. Pizza sounds good. Hey, you just said Simone was right about Charity being our cousin. So? That means you already knew it was a possibility that our mom was Charity's aunt before I told you? I didn't say that. How long have you suspected Charity was our cousin? I didn't! The picture of mom on the refrigerator, it's gone. Is it? You took it. So Charity wouldn't see it because then she'd know that our mom and her mom are twins. I don't know what you're talking about, Jessica. Liar! How could you do this to mom? How could you keep this from her? It's over. What does it matter anymore? It matters plenty. Mom has been searching for her family since before we were born. You figured out there were Charity and her mom and you didn't tell her? Well, I didn't know for sure. You suspected. And all you had to do was show Charity the picture or meet Mom. But you made sure that didn't happen. You would have kept what you knew from Mom forever if you could have. That is not true. I would have told her. When? In another 20 years? Lay off, Jessica. Kay feels bad enough already. Not about what she did. Only about getting caught. You don't know anything! I know what you did was wrong. Leave me alone! Everything worked out great. Mom found her long-lost twin sister. Miguel's got his precious charity. Everyone's deliriously happy, except me. I just lost the love of my life. Not that that would mean anything to you. You want me to feel sorry for you? Because your plan to get Miguel backfired? 
What you did was despicable, Kay. And I'm gonna make sure everyone knows about it. You would Oh, no. I'm going straight to Mom and Dad and Miguel and tell them everything. You're gonna get exactly what you deserve. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Well, you wanted to see your sister tonight, Grace. No, yeah, but you know, Faith said she wanted to wait until the morning. Uh, she'll be thrilled. Trust me. Just the little girl warned me. I'm afraid that something terrible is going to happen tonight. You will need great courage for what's going to happen tonight, Grace. It will frighten you, but you can't give in. If you do, it will be the end of everything. I will be lost for you and your family. Grace. You don't believe that I saw the little girl or that her warning is real. What I believe is that when you see your sister's face tonight, you'll be as convinced as I am that there's no evil out there lurking around that's going to harm you. Chanting to down there. Maybe it's better if Timmy doesn't know. Sisters of goodness hope to reunite. Their tie must be severed before the new day's light. Rats! I need more power to keep faith and race apart. Give me, give me, give me the power! I've been spending way too much time with Teresa. <sighs> Thank you. Can I help you? Yeah, let me have uh, two slices and a root beer. Make it to go. Sure. It'll be a couple minutes. Hello, Whitney. Frank, what are you doing here? I am uh, getting some pizza. And you? You're obviously waiting for someone. Teresa, maybe? No. No, not Teresa. Oh. Boyfriend, then? You're going to really like going to high school here, Charity. I've never been in real classes with other kids. You'll do great. I mean, there's football games and soccer and dances. There's the Halloween dance. It's supposed to be really cool. I mean, everybody dresses up in crazy costumes. Uh, sounds like fun. It is. I was thinking maybe you'd go with me. Oh, I'd like that. But you know I'm not a very good dancer. I love dancing with you at the garage and at my mother's party. But if you want, I can give you lessons. That would be great. Miguel, you still talking to Charity? Yeah. Let me talk to her. Sure. Uh, Chief Bennett wants to talk to you. All right. Okay, thanks. What's going on, Mrs. Bennett? Sam had the greatest idea. I hope that it works. Where'd you go? The electronics store. You did say my sister was a computer whiz, didn't you? And that's what Charity told me. She said she has all the latest gadgets. Well, I hope she has a video hookup, because that's what we just got. I mean, Sam says I'm going to be able to see my sister and talk to her. Can you imagine after 20 years, I'm finally going to see my sister face to face? Am I doing this right, Mom? Yeah, that looks fine, Charity. I just had the strangest feeling in the pit of my stomach. Well, you're excited about seeing your twin sister that you haven't seen in 20 years. Yeah, I am. But there is still so much evil and danger out there, Charity. Mom, can we please think positively? From now on, nothing bad's gonna happen. Just a few more minutes, Grace. 
Well, maybe I should pop over to Tabitha's while you're setting up. Let's see how she's doing after those feigning spells. Please. Time is running out. We must destroy faith and charity tonight. Oh, I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> I mean that, um... This pizza isn't for any boy. I just figured a girl like you have a whole line of boyfriends. <laughs> but if I'm butting in where I don't belong, let me know. No, no. Um, it's just that this pizza and soda are actually mine because I am so starving right now. <laughs> yeah, I like girls with healthy appetite. Mm. Mind if I join? You can't. Why? I thought you weren't expecting me. I'm not. It's just that um, I'm in the middle of this article. A tennis, huh? Yeah. It's about these new rackets, and I really want to finish it, and I just want to be good company right now. Oh, that's all right. I'll take my chances. I won't be long anyway. What are these magazines saying about uh, these new rackets? Oh, wait. You must have lost your place because... Uh, this article is about whether a healthy sex life improves your tennis game. Oh. So tell me, does it? Jessica, wait! You cannot stop me, Kay. You can't rat me out. It'll break my dad's heart, and Miguel will hate Which me. Which is exactly what you deserve. You've gone too far this time, Kay. But you're right. It would break Mom and Dad's heart to know what a mean daughter they have. So I won't tell them. Miguel? Miguel's going to hear all of it. Every last thing you did to try and keep him and Charity apart. You can't! <laughs> Watch me. Miguel's gonna see you for exactly what you are, a sneaky little B-I-T-C-H. Jessica, hang on. What Kay did was wrong, okay? But isn't she suffering enough? She's already lost Miguel to charity. Thanks, Simone. So what's to gain by making things worse for your sister? Kay did this to herself. I never knew she could stoop so low. It's one thing to hurt me, but... It's a whole other ball game to hurt our mother. Okay, Jessica. What'll it take for you to keep your mouth shut? Uh, don't go over to Tabitha's right now, honey. Wouldn't you rather talk to your sister face to face? <gasps> Do you have it hooked up? With Miguel's help, if I can tear him away from charity long <laughs> enough, you're gonna be able to see and talk to your sister for the first time in 20 <laughs> years. Sit down. Did you see that? You waved. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you and I can see you. <laughs> I can't believe this technology. Hello, Charity. You look exactly like my mom. It's incredible. And you're as pretty as I thought you'd be. Thanks. <laughs> well, welcome to our family. I'm sure Jessica and Kay and Noah will be thrilled to have you as a cousin. I hope so. I can't wait to wrap my arms around my beautiful new niece. Me neither. Mrs. Bennett, can I call you Aunt Grace? Well, you'd better. I mean, I've waited years for somebody to call me that. Can I speak to your mom? Sure, I'll get her. Mom, you can see Aunt Grace now. It's really you. Yes, Faith, it's me. I, I wanted to see you in person, but I, I didn't think it was a good idea. 
No, you were right not to come here tonight. It's much too dangerous. It's better to wait till the morning when the sun's out. And the powers of those who want to destroy us are weaker. But Faith, I don't understand. What power, what danger? I mean, who wants to hurt us? I don't blame you for not understanding, Grace. Your amnesia must have wiped away everything that our mother and grandmother taught you. Well, Faith, tell me, what have I forgotten? I'll explain everything. I'll answer all your questions. But not like this. We'll wait until tomorrow, when I can take your hand and we can be close. Only then can you truly understand what I have to tell you. I guess I can wait. For now, please believe that there are powers determined to destroy us. I just hope and pray that they have not yet learned that we found each other. What would happen if they do? Disaster? Tragedy? Armageddon? A resemblance. That's amazing. Yeah. And they look like the same person. You know, I still don't get what Charity's mom's so scared of. Damn if I know. But if my wife's sister's in any kind of trouble, I'll do whatever I can to protect her. Count me in, too. You really care about her daughter Charity, don't you? Like I've never cared about any girl before. I know it sounds stupid. We hardly know each other. I felt that way when I met Grace. If anyone or anything tries to harm Charity, her mother or Grace, we're well, gonna have to go through the both of us first. What to do? What to do? Timmy doesn't know what to do. Only Timmy knew what was going on down there with his beloved Tabitha. Ah! Tabitha, Tabitha! Timmy, sweet princess, are you okay? Sex and tennis. Is it true what they say? They just say that to sell magazines. Well, they're doing a pretty good job. People in town tell me you're a pretty good tennis player. You've been asking around about me? Yeah, her in there. They tell me you got what it takes to be a champion. I figured that I'd uh, give you a call and maybe take you up on a couple lessons. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Why, you do coach, don't you? I mean, isn't that why you were at the country club the other morning? Huh? Yeah, right. Listen, you don't have to be nervous around me. Oh, I'm not nervous. <laughs> no, I mean, because what I said the other day about you and Teresa knowing more about the stalker than you were admitting, I was wrong. You were? Yeah, I mean, uh, I was thinking, why would you lie to me? Exactly. That's what me and uh, Teresa were trying to tell you. I just wish I still had that sketch, you know. I suppose it doesn't matter because her face is so distinctive. And I'll never forget her face. Pizza's getting cold, Wayne. Oh, right. <laughs> You all right? <coughs> what are you okay? <coughs> Name your price, Jessica. Just don't rat me out. I never knew how twisted my own sister was. You can have my cell phone for six months. You can keep my cell phone, and you can have half of my allowance for an entire year. You still don't get it, Kay. My whole allowance. You can't weasel out of this one. I'm not cutting any deals with someone as sneaky and low as you. You love this, don't you? At least one of the Bennett girls has to show she knows right from wrong. Well, if you don't do it for me, do it for the people that you do care about. That won't work. Maybe you're right. I won't tell Miguel what a rotten friend you've been to him. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you so Not much. Not so fast, Kay. I won't tell him right now. 
You'll just have to live with the fear that I could tell him at any time. But not tonight. You promise? I'm not doing this for you, Kay. But Miguel and Mom deserve to be happy tonight. Not that you'd understand a thing about that. I understand better than you think. I know what I did was wrong. But you're too young to understand what people will do. What they'll do for true love. You're still thinking of yourself. You're not sorry at all. I'm going home to join in the celebration. You got off easy. What did you mean about me losing Miguel? Newsflash, Kay? You have. Charity is moving to Harmony, and whatever dreams you had of you and Miguel are history, and you know it. No! I'm not giving up on him. I can't. I won't! Wait till you get to know her, Chief Bennett. I've never met anyone like Charity. I wish I knew what you were afraid of, Faith. But I've waited 20 years to find out about my past. I guess I can wait another night. It'll be much easier and safer in the daytime. You'll understand when I've explained it to you. Well, what time can you get here in the morning? As early as you say. Well, dawn would be nice. <laughs> but seriously, Faith, I would love it if you and Charity would move in here. We've got the room, and I'd like to have you near. I would like that. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> I have prayed for so long that someday, somehow, my family would be near me. And tonight my prayers have been answered. It's been the same for me, Grace. I've never stopped praying that we'd be reunited. And once morning comes, once we're together, there will be no power in the world strong enough to ever separate us again. Well, I am counting the hours. I love you, Faith. I love you too, Grace. Well, till tomorrow. Did you hear something outside? Tell the please be all right for a Jim Jim. <laughs> Poor princess having to go through all this just to get her powers back in a hurry. If it wasn't for Faith and her brat, Jimmy and Tabitha would be sipping martinis and watching Endor on Bewitched. Jimmy wants this all to be over. <laughs> Are you all right? Hey, you all right? You got something stuck in your throat? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Thank Are you, you sure? I'm sure. All right. I've been worried there for a minute. Huh? Sir, two slides on root beer to go? Yeah. I'm gonna keep the change. Thanks. Yeah. Whew. I'll let you get back to your magazine. That's a, it's a very interesting article. Maybe I'll give you a call about the lists. to sabotage Miguel and Charity and he finds out he will never speak to you again. Loyalty is everything to Miguel. Well, loyalty is everything to me too, Simone. I've been loyal to Miguel. I have never wanted anyone else. I've been in love with him for years. I deserve to be with him, not Charity. I know that's how you feel, but trying to keep your mom from finding her own sister just to keep Charity away from Miguel, you know that wasn't right. You think I'm this terrible person. No, of course not. I just hate seeing what this obsession you have with Miguel is doing to you. Kay, you have so much going for you. So many people care about you. Me, your family, your friends. Thanks, Mom. It's really nice of you to say that. Maybe a year or two ago that would have been enough. But I want more now. I want a boyfriend. I want that special someone who 
loves me, only me. We all want that, Kay, but not everyone goes to the lengths you do. Well, maybe that proves how much I love him. It seems a weird way of showing it. <laughs> well, you'll understand when you find a guy you like. I don't think so. You will. And if somebody tries to take him away from you, you will do whatever it takes to keep him, too. Well, there isn't any guy in my life right now, so there's no sense talking about it. And listen, you don't know that things will work out with Charity and Miguel. Who knows? You might even end up with him one day. But for now, Miguel wants to be with Charity. It's over, Kay. Give him up. It's not over till it's over, Simone. Meaning what? Chances are that Charity and her mom won't come to Harmony for the big family reunion until tomorrow. You know how her mom is about being out after dark. Which means I have one more night. What can you possibly do to get Miguel in one night that you haven't tried already? Well, I'll get him alone, away from everybody else, and I'll tell him I love him. Isn't that taking an awfully big chance? Well, without Miguel, I don't have anything, so I've got nothing to lose. I can't wait to show you around school. I mean, I'll take you to all the places I hang out, introduce you to the rest of my friends. Oh, I'd like that. I was thinking, if you're living here at the Bennetts, I can walk you home on the days I don't have soccer practice. I can't believe it. I've only read about this stuff in books. Kids our age going to class together, hanging out afterwards, going to dances and all that stuff. I never thought that I would actually have a chance to do it myself. I'm so lucky, Miguel. I'm the lucky one. You feeling better? Yeah, thanks to you, Sam. <laughs> I found a way to see my sister face to face tonight. <laughs> Jimmy Hooks, this is Tabitha. Have you finished what you had to do, Tabitha? Tabitha? Don't play games with Jimmy Fett, Tabitha. Tim may only be a doll, but he still gets very scared. It is you, Tabitha. Timmy, here's your bracelets. You had your fun. Tell Timmy the truth. There is no evil down in the basement. How are Timmy and Talitha really going to take care of Faith and her brat? <laughs> Princess! You're scaring Jimmy! <laughs> I hope you like pizza. <laughs> oh, I don't believe this. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. I, I didn't see you there. Oh, don't worry about it. It was my fault. Oh. Do you have any idea how close you came to almost getting caught by Frank? I wasn't. Was I, Whitney? No, but these close calls are killing me. It's not like I love being covered in pizza dough. But face it, it could have been a lot worse. Speaking of which... You weren't exactly in pain when Frank's arms were around you. <laughs> that was not a love squeeze, okay? He thought I was choking to death. <sighs> yeah, well, I saw where his hands were. How did it feel? I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't feel anything. You don't have to lie to me, Whitney. I think it was a brilliant stroke. The next time I'm around Ethan, I may fake choking myself. I was not faking. I mean... <sighs> I was, but not someone to put his arms around me. You know, I did it to protect you. You know, I don't even know why I bother. I was only teasing, Whitney. You know what? I am not in the mood for pizza anymore. Let's go. But what about Frank? He's long gone by now. Come on. Oh, why was Whitney so nervous? Was she trying to cover something up? Was she really choking on something, or... Was she just trying to get my help? I'm gonna go back inside and check it out. Hey, cousin. Good to see you. <laughs> hey, Jessica. Isn't this cool? 
truly awesome. Okay. Hey, hey, hey Simone. I'm so glad you're here. Jessica told you the news. Isn't it incredible? It sure is, Mom. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, we won't need this video hookup. I'll be able to see you and talk to you every day and every night in person. I can't wait. I've never been this happy in my life, Mom. Thanks for turning out to be Charity's aunt, Mrs. Bennett. <laughs> well, thanks to you, Miguel. I mean, you're what brought Charity back to Harmony in the first place. Did you hear, Kay? Charity's coming to Harmony to live tomorrow. <laughs> I heard, Miguel. Great news. I told you, Charity. It was meant to be. Tabitha, don't scare your chimney like this. If you're doing some sort of beauty treatment down there, you don't have to. Timmy thinks you're beautiful already.